Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through day 2 problem from July Lead Coding Challenge. Binary Tree Level Order Traversal 2. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a binary tree, return the bottom up level order traversal of its node values. That is, from left to right, level by level from leaf to root. In the given example, we start giving the output from leaf to root. So we first add 15 and 7, then we move up and add 9 and 20, and lastly the root 3. Let's see two ways to solve the problem. I first attempted this problem by using breadth first search. So let's see how do we do it. The algorithm uses Q. We will initialize the Q and add the root node in it. We will also initialize the result list. Now till the Q is not empty, we will perform following operations. We'll first take the size of a Q into a variable and initialize a list to hold the values at this level. We loop from 1 to size and remove node from the Q. We will add its left and right child if there are not null and then add the node value into our list. When done with the loop, we add the list into our result list, but at starting index. At the end, we return result list. Let's take the sample example. We will initialize q and result list. We will put root into q and as q is not empty, we will start our loop. Also, we will initialize list to hold level values. Now as size is 1, we will loop from 1 to size. We remove 3 from q and add both its child into q. We decrement size to 0 and add 3 into our list. As size becomes 0, we come out of loop and add the list into result. Now as q is not empty, we again initialize a list and size with 0. As size is 2, we start looping. We first remove 9. As it does not have child, nothing gets added. We will add 9 then into our list. Size is still 1, so we remove 20 and add both its child into q. And add 20 into list. As size becomes 0, we add 20, 9 into list at index 0. Q is still not empty, so we follow the same procedure. As Q is empty now, we return result. Let's see how we can apply the same by using depth first search. We will initialize result list, then we call method which will be called recursively. This method will have three parameters, the node, depth and the result list. Inside the method, we will first check if the node is null. If it is, then we return. Then we check if the size of result is equal to depth, which signifies that the result does not contain the list in which the value for level will be inserted. So we create a new list and insert it at starting index. Now we put the value of node in list of result list at position result.size minus depth minus 1. We call method for both left and right child with increased depth. At the end, we return result. We'll start calling function on root with depth as 0. As the result list is initially empty, our condition of size equal to depth satisfies and we add a new list at starting index and result. We then add node value in list inside result and call method on left and right child. As again the size of result and depth are equal, we add new list at index 0. We now add 9 at the first list and as there is no child of 9, we now move to other method. The result will be updated. And we add 20 into the list and call method for both his child. Again, size is equal to depth. So we add new list. We add 15 into the list and as it is a leaf node, we move to other method. Now we add 7 in it. This completes our method call. And then we return result. The time and space complexity is O of n. Here is the actual code snippet from the method. Also check out the link to the java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.